If you are watching one of my tutorial videos, you will be seeing a screen that looks very similar to this one. This is actually recording in version 7, but there wasn't much change to the look of the um, layout and editing between versions 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I'm now going to show you what version 8 will look like and just show you some of the tools that are slightly different and work in a different way. You can follow all the tutorials just as long as you're aware of the different ways of doing things which I'm going to explain now. The first thing you're going to notice when you open your version 8 is that we now have a large box on the right hand side and our working area is slightly smaller. In this box down here now we've got our thread chart, our sewn attributes box and our text box. Um, I'll come on to those in just a moment but that's just to show you that this is what you're going to be looking at. Now we're going to start by just doing, if you're following the simple flower lesson I'm going to just show you that in version 8 so that you can see the tools are slightly different. When we pick up the line running tool from the side here. In the previous versions you would have had up here open path and close path. We don't get that now until we actually pick up one of the tools and the reason is when we open this fly out menu we've got our close path tools in the top and we've got our open path tools in the bottom and one extra one that we've got here now is a freehand drawing pencil. If I just pick that up for the moment you'll see straight away it tells me that I've got open path and it will tell me that I've got a zigzag stitch. I'll just change that to running stitch. This is going to be exactly the same as previous versions and we can actually, I'm not clicking here, I'm actually just drawing. If you can draw freehand with a mouse then that is the tool that you can be using. You can still use the straight, the curved and the semi-automatic. So if we use the straight as we did in the um, simple flower lesson. What I'm doing is just clicking on the page to enter. This isn't going to fill because I've got an open path design. If I made a mistake and I really wanted to pick up the closed path, if I made a mistake I can still select that, go to open path and change that to closed path and it will fill as we normally do. Now let's just zoom in a little bit on here. Just delete those previous bits and I'm going to make a petal the way we made a petal in the simple flower lesson. I'm going to take the straight digitise in. We don't want an outline so we're going to turn that off and I'm just going to click a petal shape. Double click at the bottom and it will fill. Let's just take the point edit tool and make that just a little bit more petal shaped. and we want to change it to satin stitch. As you notice as well that my colour thread chart has come up now because I've actually got some design on the page I've got the thread down here. If I wanted to change that I can just click on the colour and automatically my petal will change. I don't need to click apply or anything at the bottom it just automatically changes for me. Let's go back to a pink one. Let's 